From Hollywood time once again for Money TV, I'm Don Belarge, and thanks for joining us. Money TV is a program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, the stock market had experienced jitters the last couple of weeks. Traders had concerns over a possible trade war escalating between the world's two biggest economies, the U.S. and China. The United States exports about $10 billion in goods to China per month, but imports about $45 billion, a significant trade imbalance. During the 2016 campaign, then-candidate Trump promised to address the trade imbalance with China and bring down the huge discrepancy. Chinese products are cheaper to produce because of significantly lower labor costs and a comparative absence of expensive regulations. Bottom line, competing with China can be difficult, which is why many foreign companies seek out manufacturing partners in China at the expense of jobs on their home fronts. But that, too, comes at a price. Foreign companies and governments have for years complained about Chinese practices, such as requiring firms to hand over trade secrets in exchange for entry into the country's huge markets. R&D in China has routinely been referred to by foreign companies as rip-off and duplicate. President Trump has frequently accused Beijing of stealing American jobs through unfair trade practices. So Trump fired the first shot across the bow with trade tariffs to punish the Chinese steel and aluminum industries, but also threatened more tariffs on about $50 billion of Chinese goods exported to the U.S. Trump was particularly frustrated that cars sent from China to the U.S. are imposed tariffs of 2.5%, while cars from the U.S. to China carry a 25% tariff. In addition to the tariffs, the U.S. also planned to impose new investment restrictions, take action against China at the World Trade Organization, and the Treasury Department was going to propose additional measures. Not to be outdone, China initially announced that U.S. tariffs of Chinese goods would be met with Chinese tariffs of U.S. exports on the same scale and intensity. But later on, Chinese President Xi Jinping promised to cut import tariffs, a tone which was welcomed by global markets. Perhaps she realized that the significance of the U.S. trade imbalance with China, at least at first glance, makes it appear that China has the most to lose. Now, here's something you'll never lose. It's money when you call our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world that you're watching the program, 888-259-4449, for free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. That is also free, as is the call, 888-259-4449. Visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.